Good morning, the Form.life friends. I want you to take a deep breath and I want you to sit in this moment because this week we conclude this section of our sermon series on the book of John, Signs of Life and the Discipline of Study. We're going to resume our study of John when we get to January 2023 and we hope these practices that we've been engaged throughout this summer are going to be a helpful tool to continue to shape you in a holistic understanding of scripture pointing to life in Jesus. So here's what you can expect this week. Today, lean into that space of preparation before you get with God's people who are gathered around God's word and read John chapter 10, verses one through 42. And then after that, go ahead and make your plan for this final week of this particular section, okay? So on Monday, you're gonna read about the sign of Jesus as the resurrection. He is the resurrection and the life and how Lazarus is raised from the dead. This Monday, you're gonna watch a video from another one of our pastors giving you background and a question to reflect upon this upcoming Sunday. And this week, you will see Pastor Brent Nelson from our Leewood campus. Yet another treat. You have like this basket full, overflowing. Your cup overflows with treats now. So just be prepared for this. It's gonna be great. On Tuesday, you will reread the passage and also look and how another thoughtful Christian at a different time and place has engaged God's word. And this week, you're gonna read John Calvin, a pastor and theologian who lived in France and Switzerland in the 16th century. On Wednesday, friends, okay, I know you've been working for this. John chapter six, verses 47 through 58, it's the final week. Verse 58, you've got this. Verses 47 through 58, it's rolling off the tongue. And if it's not, it's stirring in your heart to so spend some time meditating on it and memorizing it and finishing it out. On Thursday, we're gonna see how John is continuing to be steeped in this Old Testament framing and the beauty and the theology of what God's been doing in history. And this week, you're gonna read from Ezekiel about God's rescue of his people and the image of restoring a valley of dry bones to life and compare that to Jesus as the resurrection. On Friday, we're gonna see how John fits in the broader New Testament and his friends and his colleagues there. And this week, you're gonna read from Paul about Jesus' resurrection and the connection to those that believe. And so then you're gonna compare that to John's account as well. And then Saturday, we're gonna be deepening our understanding of scripture. When we do that, we can do that through silent reflection and meditation. And so this Saturday, you're gonna reread this week's passage again and then spend about five minutes in silence, okay? Some of you, this has been really easy. Others of you, this has been a struggle, but I hope for all of us, this has been a time of growth. Well, after you do that, reflect on it and journal how this journey in silence has worked its way out in you, okay? Well, you should be all set for this week. It's been a joy to learn alongside of you, but let's put the formed back in biblically informed. Let's engage this discipline of study together. Just one more week. See you later.